hi welcome to our series on get and get up for beginners i'm dr onya obed and in this series you're going to learn a lot about version control and specifically about get and get up how to use it in software development in fact you're going to learn basically almost everything about it how to use it what they mean and i'm going to take you on this journey to the end where by the end of it you would comfortably be able to use any of these right so we went to start from the very basis which is version control and what version control is when you talk about version control i think the first thing that we need to appreciate here is what is a version and almost everyone who is using a technological device like a mobile phone a computer which i presume you are using one of them uh, if you are watching this particular video may be aware of what a version is so to bring this home for you let me ask you a simple question what version of the phone are you using all right so is it an android phone if it is an android phone what version of the android phone are you using or what version of the ios phone are you using or even the various applications that you use so even youtube that you're using to watch this video what version of youtube have you installed now does it click do you, do you have you started thinking about it the last time you downloaded whatsapp or any application you could have been told or oh, update to the newest version but the question is why do we have all of these versions coming up and what is a version in the first place so basically when you talk about a version of any product now remember that we are dealing with software engineering so i'll focus the narrative around software engineering when you talk about a version of a software essentially what it means is that you are creating a copy of an existing um i would have used version in this case by an existing code you are creating a copy of it or the software that you already have you want to create a copy of the software then you are also able to make some modification to the copied uh, version or the copied form or the copied software so essentially when you talk about a version a version is just a modified a modified form of an existing substance so for instance if i take this uh, case here and i want to create a version say this is version zero this is the very first version that i created okay the very first form of this case that i created if i want to create another form sometimes i'm not too sure whether the changes that i'm going to make is going to distort this but i like this the way it is so let me keep this over there and make a duplicate of it or make a copy of it then i'll make the changes to that copy so that i can present that copy as a different form of this so essentially when i come out to the product i'll still have this already there as version zero then a new one that will come will be say version one then the next time i can create another one version two version three that means that at any point in time we still have access to the various versions and this is essential in software development along the line you come to appreciate why you need to be creating these versions but i hope this makes sense the concept of versions then when you come to software development we are looking at how do i control these versions that i have how do i manage these versions am i going to be creating copying and pasting the various source code that i have the code that i wrote for this app am i going to just copy and paste it somewhere else and make changes to it and all so there are systems that helps us do this easily they facilitate the process of creating versions that you would not even have to worry yourself about and these versions are known as version control system so you can call them vcs version control systems another name that we use to refer to these are source code management systems so whether you see vcs or scm we are referring to basically the same thing where vcf is version control system and scm is source code management so what this means is this refers to a system right remember we are saying it's a system that allows us to control the versions of our code so it is going to create a version so we just have to give particular commands and a version of the 
source code that we have will be created and we can modify that version without affecting the original version just as i explained if i wanted to create various versions of this i don't want to destroy this i still want to have the original version there then make copies of the original version so in the same way source control management services or version control systems allows us to control the various versions without doing much we just give it command and very soon you see some of these commands that we are going to give it to be able to uh, manage this uh, source code or the various versions that we are going to create so that is essentially what a version control system is and there are two major types of version control systems let's quickly get into it then i'll mention some examples and subsequent videos will dive more into a specific example so when we talk about version control systems there are two major types so the types we have what we call the centralized the centralized version control system and as you might have guessed the decentralized so we also have the decentralized version control system now to be able to explain this for you to appreciate it i need to let you on on something even though we are going to discuss it in subsequent videos so please if you don't understand it just take your time you would appreciate it with time but when you're working with a version control system this is what happens there is a software or a technology let me call it that way there is a technology that will take care of the versions right and that's essentially what the version control system is but then where in your workflow as a software developer is this particular technology installed is what would differentiate the type so let's assume that you the software developer have your computer here and that technology that you are using or that technology that allows you to control the systems okay so let me mention let me just use this technology i will explain it later so just keep calm with it we call something a repository essentially it is a folder with that source control technology installed in it so that it allows you to control the various versions so if this is your computer and fortunately or unfortunately the technology we are talking about that is the source control or the source code management technology is installed on a remote computer on a computer that is not your own computer so let's say that your repository that you are working with is on this computer the word i mentioned is repository and i said it's basically a folder with that technology the version control system installed in it all right uh or initialize i mean i'll explain it better with time and you would appreciate it so you have this repository but the repository is not on your computer it's somewhere else that means that a lot of you developers let's say you work in the same company and you all are going to write some code you are all working on the same project so this person who is you will send his code all the changes that he's making to this repository which is not on his computer it is somewhere far away this uh, this other person too is going to do same send your code there this person to be doing same in the same way any updates that come you the person here will also have to pull the updates onto your computer this other person to have to pull any updates onto his computer to be able to work on the new version that has been created so at any point in time it's either you are pushing to that repository or you are pulling from that repository if this is the, the nature of it then we say you are working on a centralized version control system the reason why it is centralized is because the repository that we are all pushing and pulling from is a central repository it's just a central repository that we all push and pull from so on that note let's discuss what a decentralized uh, a decentralized version control system will be on the other hand with a decentralized version control system 
every one of the software developers would have on their own computer a repository and we call that a local repository so now instead of pushing directly to that central repository you are going to have a repository on your own computer such that when you make you create your versions or you make changes to the code you push it to your local this other developer tool will do same they are able to push the code to their local repository and the same as this other developer push the code towards their local repository then there is also a central repository that in order for us to synchronize the changes that we have made we are all going to be pushing to that repository and that is what makes this a decentralized one because we still have a local one that we push to so this is a local repo for short but repository is the term then we call this a remote repository that is remote so essentially all the changes that we have would be pushed in here one common example of the first one that we talked about which you could read about is the for the centralized we have what we call subversion so you could read about it but a commonly used one is the decentralized version control system and example of this is gates which is the focus of this series we'll be looking more at gates another example is mercuria which you may come across along the line but we are going to focus more on gates and that means that you are going to be dealing more with the decentralized version control system and delve more into it so these terminologies the local repository the remote repository i said you are going to push the code to the remote repository and at times you are going to pull it if there have been changes to the code on the remote repository these terminologies you are going to explain them and explore them further in subsequent lessons i hope you enjoyed this lesson and i'll see you in the next one bye